Today we are playing with Forbidden Cards on Arena. That's right, we've annihilated our wild card collections to craft the cards that you can't play anywhere except against each other. Or against Sparky, I guess, but Sparky won't try to counterspell your natural order or channel fireball you out of nowhere. But we sure will, so let's go! <laughs> Just a quick warning here, in this video Seth and I play with cards that are literally banned in every format on Arena. The wildcard economy is already bad enough, so don't try this at home. But hey, nobody is stopping you from playing these cards if you just get the actual paper version at cardkingdom.com, your place to go for everything magic related. Although this channel will still be banned and restricted in every format, but then again it's just 80 cents. Oh god, that's so much less than a mythic wild card. Anyways, Seth and I played a bunch of games with a bunch of broken decks in this video. Since we didn't explain every card along the way, I'm going to intervene every now and then to give some context on the absurd spells we are casting today. With that being said, Let's jump right into the action. All right. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I keep this one. Yeah. This is this is good enough. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Ah, plan of elves. No, I think we got to fire up. Oh, what's this? A brainstorm. The second best way to spend one blue mana in Magic. It lets you draw three cards and then put two cards from your hand on top of your library. Oh boy, that was not a good brainstorm. Okay, well that's not ideal. Uh, we're gonna Demonic Tutor. Uh, yeah, you read that card right. Demonic Tutor lets you put any card from your library into your hand for just two mana. Printed in Alpha all the way back in 1993, it is the reason why we call effects that search our library tutoring. It is banned in every format except for Commander and this video. Probably just this. All right. Well. <laughs> well, two green mana. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh my what God. a little channel. <laughs> yeah, so this is arguably one of the most broken cards ever printed. For only two green mana, it allows you to pay life instead of colorless mana until end of turn, which is why it's banned and restricted in literally every format. Printed in the first ever magic set, it formed the iconic first combo in magic, channel fireball. But let's see what the arena card pool can do with this much colorless mana. So how about I play a Khan the Great Creator for four life? Well, it's not an Ulamog at least. Karn, I will... Uh-oh, what's Karn finding though? A uh, Chromatic Orrery. Oh my god. So now I can spend <laughs> colorless mana as though it was any colored mana. Yeah. So I can cast colored spells for my life. Oh, that Chromatic Orrery is sweet tech. I like that. How about uh, Uro? Draw card, gain life. Ooh, wow, look. Fair magic. <laughs> Ugin. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two. That's a pretty good turn too. I mean, you're not gonna play a shock, so how about an Oko? Ah, Oko, the best planeswalker ever printed. Not much to say about this one, since most of you probably still have nightmares from the short time before it was banned in almost every format. Plus it, create a food token. <laughs> I could crack this food, but it would kill me, so... <laughs> pass the turn. That's a turn two right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty pretty good. <laughs> so <tough. laughs> Um, all right, thought seeds. Little little late to this party. <laughs> yeah, that's a little late. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> to be fair, if you had this thought seeds last turn, none of this would have happened. Would have stopped me from doing it. Yeah. Uh, so minus Khan, get a God Pharaoh statue. Yeah. Cast it. So now all your spells cost two more. Would you like to turn it into an elk? <clears throat> you can attack me for three, Phil, if you elk that Godfrey of statue, I'm just saying. I can't attack you for three anyways. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's over. <laughs> yeah, that is that is definitely a game. I can't even, I guess I can cast a brainstorm. That's the one spell in my hand that I can actually cast. And, uh, yeah. I don't think there's any coming back. Okay. Yeah, Godfrey of statue is kind of game over against a storm <laughs> style deck. Yeah, channel's uh, pretty good. And you know what else would be pretty good? If you could tap that like button. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, this is this is fine. We'll keep this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a little slower start and uh, thought seize you. Make sure you don't have a channel in hand or something. Nope. Uh, what do we? Hmm. I think it's demonic tutor or brainstorm. It's a pretty good brainstorm because you have the fabled passage to shuffle. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna take demonic tutor. I assume that's gotta be the scariest. It's probably the correct call. And huh, let's see, let's see your hand then. <laughs> oh, iron, oh, I like this. 
did just <laughs> take the... I mean, Dark Ritual doesn't really help with casting Iron Crack feet. Not immediately, no. Yeah, I think I'm more scared of the feet than... Oh, this is... Both our hands are just set up, so we can't really take important cards here. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. All right, we're going to play a red source, and... Oh, hmm. Yeah, this is a little awkward, but we're gonna actually discard our Dark Ritual and Faithful Suiting to draw three. Oof. Mm, let's play a Faber Passage, pass the turn. Oh, that's interesting. All right, play land and flashback Faithless Looting. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna discard uh, two copies of Dragonstorm. Mm-hmm. And you that's can get- That's scary. How about a brainstorm? Oh, with the shuffle. Put this and this, yes. Uh, let's take a little forest. Draw a card, sure. I'm pretty sure I just put this on top and shuffled it away, but that's okay. <laughs> can't really... Well, I'm almost sure that I'm dead here, but I can't do much about it, so... Might as well get a little value here. Yeah. Yep. Get that sweet, sweet value. Well, now I might. Just chalk this in. Just, just see what you're doing. Uh oh. This could mean you drew into the spell pierce, which would be awkward. All right, we're going to demonic tutor. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a card called dark ritual. One black mana to create three black mana. Not sure if I need to explain why this is broken. It's part of the hilariously unbalanced boon cycle all the way back in alpha. Despite its power, it's always been printed at common, except for the Strixhaven mystical archive, which is how most of these cards made it to arena. So I guess you have to spend a rare wild card to craft it. We're gonna play a black source. We're gonna dark ritual to make three mana. Good one. We're going to Mizzix Mastery Dragonstorm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so that's his turn four, a little, a little slower than I was hoping. But so now we get to tutor up four dragons from our deck, and uh, the deck is built so if we get to get three dragons, we just we win the game on the spot. So uh, what we do is we get a Terror of the Peaks. So when a dragon enters the battlefield, we get to deal damage. Then yeah. we get a Bladewing the Risen and shoot you for four. Uh, Bladewing has an ability where when it enters the battlefield, you get to reanimate a dragon. So if you get two Bladewings, they're legends. So they legend rule each other and you get to keep reanimating the other Bladewing and it just loops and you get infinite damage here. So that's kind of the main, the main goal of this deck. Turn four is like a little bit on the slow end. Best draws, I think you win turn two. I, I couldn't find a way to win with it on turn one, but uh, turn two is pretty fast and turn three is actually like pretty common with a decent draw. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna keep this. I don't know if it's right, but. Okay, turn one, Thoughtseize. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it can let you have this. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take the demonic tutor, I think, or you, the odds of losing is super high. Yeah, there's there's no way. I mean, so I have everything I need, but I don't have the channel. That's the missing piece of the puzzle. Uh, we'll just play goose. Hmm. I mean, demonic tutor, <laughs> just. Someone kill me next turn. I I would like to. Oh, well that was a that was a pretty good draw. Oh no. Um, oh no. Come on, don't, don't. That, that was not not a bad draw at all. We're gonna cast Channel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cast Ulamog. We're going to eat both of your lands, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> we are. I mean, all you gotta do, Phil, is deal one damage to us. Oh That's God. it. <gasps> no. What? Arena auto tapper killed me rather than tapping the gilded goose. <laughs> wow, they were. I knew Arena like leaving mana dwarves and tap, but I didn't know it was literally <laughs> spend all your life instead of tapping one. Uh, that seems like an insane key. Okay. Okay, well, I'll try this. Let's start with a little story. Once upon a time, there was a. Uh, Elvish Warmaster. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> Forest. An Allosaurus Shepherd. Yep. Well, Land of War Elves, go. Cast a Garen Brick. Elvish Warmaster. Pretty good. Uh, swing in. You want to take that trick? Well, well, we'll take, we'll take the damage there. All right, let's play a land, play a Land of War. Mm 
Okay. Uh, maybe maybe a demonic tutor. Sure. Get another Lana Worth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we gotta assemble our Tron, Lana Worth Tron. Okay, so jokes aside, the card set actually tutored for is Natural Order. For four mana, you sacrifice a green creature and put a green creature from your library onto the battlefield, like a Progenitus or a Greater Wolf Behemoth. Um. Elvish Arch Druid. Yeah. Create an elf. <laughs> Not. Swing for five. Sure. Natural order doesn't do it here, right? No, not a, not enough bodies at the moment. Uh, Warmaster, Archdruid. But if you have natural order, then I think yours is lethal. Mine should be, but I don't have it yet. Oh. But I do have a clan caller. Okay. Create a token. I think I can pressure you enough. Yeah, that's not ideal. That you have to block. So activate Allosaurus Shepherd. Swing in oh. with three eight eights. You have to block two. Oh, two things. Yeah, that's not ideal. All right, block and block. Drop to four. Those are gonna be close. I don't know if this is gonna make it or not. Let's see, so Jaspera Sentinel's kind of free with Arch Druid out. Duany and Elite's kind of free with Arch Druid out. And then Natural Order? This might might be enough. I don't know, this is actually oh, close. This do it. No. Did we get there? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna block, yeah. but I'm pretty sure. That's Although, the, no, the, it's just three. Uh, only three creatures. Hey, Let's see. Oh, no, I think I did it. Oh, Down to did. three. You survived. Ooh. Okay, I can wow. just attack here, right? Yeah, another clan caller. Oh, <sighs> creator of not no, lethal. Not the, oh, look at this. Look at this. Natural auto, oh, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sacrifice. Again. Yours might be lethal. Now, this yeah. should be enough. <laughs> Here's another creator. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a ridiculous matchup. Do you have any interaction in your deck? I, I don't think I have a single interactive spell yet. Nah. <laughs> Player removal is the only removal. <laughs> yeah. Yo. This hand looks so illegal. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's, yes, I keep. that's the sign of a good hand in this format. If you have cards that you shouldn't craft, <laughs> then you're you got a good hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one part of this I was disappointed in is uh, the mana. It's not like we have fetch lands on Arena, but they're banned or something. The mana base is pretty much just like a historic mana base or something. Like there, there was no yeah. cards that don't exist or aren't legal that helped improve your mana base, which was interesting. And that is especially brutal considering that the new historic anthology included a full dual land cycle. But instead of giving us fetch lands with our Tarmogoyfs and Tireless Tracker, uh, we got common artifact lands. Oh, uh, let me know in the comments if you think historic is ready for fetch lands. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna play a, a Teferi, Time Raveler. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm just gonna ma memory lapse that real quick because this is probably <laughs> unbeatable <laughs> for me. Hmm. Well, I look forward to drawing uh, that next turn. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for my plan B then. How about this one? Oh god. Really missed this oh, one. Oh <laughs> god. I think uh, your planeswalker is better than mine, actually. <laughs> uh, that's why well, it's such a food token. Nothing more to see. <laughs> All right. We need a land here, so we're gonna brainstorm. That's awkward. Um, put back a couple cards, and then we're gonna demonic tutor to shuffle those cards away. That's the that's the best feeling, I think. And like brainstorm, and then oh, I'm gonna shuffle oh, them so away good. with literal demonic tutor. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that's like even better than than legacy. That's like oh, so so yeah. busted. Let's make sure you didn't find something too cool there. Hmm. Well, Brainstorm does a lot of cool things. Uh, we're going to <laughs> oh, <laughs> crack this yes. island, and we're going to Brainstorm mostly just to hide a couple cards in our hand that we would rather not get thought ceased. Oh boy, you're not going <laughs> to... You're not going to like sense. this hand. This hand is so bad for a thought season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has zero targets in my deck. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, there goes my swords. Hmm. Let's turn this. Well, I give you a target for this. Swords to plowshares, I guess. Here's an elk. <laughs> 
Those are some curly bananas. Do I just, yeah, I think it's uh -oh. time to get something cool here. How about we get this one? Okay. And swing in for three. Oka at seven loyalty. Yeah, that was, <laughs> Oka is, uh, is probably not ever dying, so honestly. Uh, all right, we're just gonna play a tap land in. I guess pass the turn, see if we die to whatever you demonic tutored. Yep, I'm curious to see that as well. Um, dark ritual. Uh, resolves. Sure. Does this bolus citadel resolve? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, it does. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this six mana artifact lets you play cards from the top of your library by paying life instead of their mana cost. It's not banned anywhere, but it becomes absurd when you couple it with some of the broken cards we play in this video. First of all, we hit full control because this is gonna get a bit complicated. Tendrils of Agony. Ooh, off the top of the deck? Yep. Oh, look what the top. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty good. Ooh, Tendrils, Bolus's Citadel's awesome. Yes, Tendrils yeah. copies two times, so three Tendrils drains you for six, gains me six. That's a lot more spells with Bolus's Citadel. Yep. That's something cool on top, which I should probably pay, but I could also just win. Yeah, let's win. How about Scheming Symmetry? Choose two target players. Each of them searches for a card, puts them up on top of your library. Good thing I can play the cards on top of my library. How about we get another Scheming Symmetry? That's a... Ooh, that just ups your storm count? Yeah, I can just I like chain it. them together. Gotcha. <laughs> mm -hmm, sure. Hey, that actually that's actually good yeah. for me since it gains me three lives. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just dead, fine. so I might as well die casting my cards. <laughs> that's scheming symmetry again. What we get? Let's take a scheming symmetry. I think. That's <laughs> <laughs> so all four scheming symmetries is what storm count of four by itself. And then I had a dark ritual and a that's bolus pretty... of citadel and the. Yeah, so we are at 10 storm once I resolve this. Also, you're just at nine. So let's put a tendrils on top, cast it. Wow, so you would have killed you. me from 20 there. You didn't You didn't even yeah. need that first tendrils, honestly. If you're wondering why we had to hold full control while doing this combo, you can memory lapse your own spells back on top of your library to cast them again, like I do in this clip right here. Hold full control yeah. in response. I weather the storm from the top of my library. In response, I memory lapse my weather the storm <laughs> from the top of my library. Yeah. Put the weather the storm on top. Oh, memory lapse is so sweet in this deck. Cast it again. <laughs> okay, back up to 25. Yeah, this should yeah. definitely do it. And this should also do it for this video. Let us know in the comments, did you like this kind of video? What do you think about this format? Did we miss some crazy combos? Check out my previous video where I win the game by bringing my own life total down to zero. This and more all in this playlist. Tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.